Yo, what is up, everybody? We're live, we're live. Hey, y'all, I'm gonna let people kind of come hang out. Nope, don't want that. What is up? How's it going? It's me, Mikey Tyler, hanging out here in my house, here in uh, beautiful Buna, Texas. Um, we're inside, we're not outside, it's inside the house. Um, I am so excited uh, being able to hang out here with you. Chase Swayze, I'm guessing those claps mean that we're online and we're working right now. Wesley Kaziah, what's up, dude? Hey, everybody drop where you're from. Let me know where you're at right now, how you're, how you're watching this. Uh oh, Nicholas from Chicago is hanging out. What's up, Nick? I, uh, I am super excited and a little bit ADD, so I'm trying to to do all these things all at the same time, which is working out, I would say, interestingly. So, what's up? We got Lizzie. Uh, is it Natalia? Oh, your birthday's on Saturday. Happy early birthday to you. Come on. People from Missouri. We got Nashville. We got Pennsylvania in the house. San Diego. Man, we got time zones. We got the east to the west. South Carolina. What is up, everybody? Come on. Well, I am, uh, I'm Micah, uh, pumped to be hanging out here with you uh, inside my home here in Buna, Texas. I'm coming from the, from the deep south over here in Buna. Uh, I know the deep south is technically more like Atlanta and that kind of thing, but technically we are deeper uh, in the south and we're, we're nearly Mexico. And so I'm excited just to be hanging out from some part of the southern United States. But uh, hey, I'm out here for a geography lesson. Uh, real big thanks to Kayla for inviting me to come out here and uh, play some songs, share some stories, uh, get a chance to hang out with you guys. Oh, we have actual Mexico. So I, I am no longer uh, at the Deep South anymore. Mexico, you you have now won that competition. So uh, I'm going to play some songs, uh, uh, hang out with you guys, uh, tell some stories, and just kind of check in with everybody. It's so exciting to get to hang out. Again, thanks to Kayla for uh, hooking us up with an opportunity to hang here tonight for a, a, a fun little time of just like me playing some songs for you. So. Uh, Let's get one going. How about that? Is that cool? Uh, and if you guys have any like major requests of songs of mine you want to drop in the comments, you can do that. Uh, give me some interesting trivia. Um, whatever uh, you want to do. It's just a time for us to get to hang out here together. So thanks for uh, spending some time, okay? And when I think about where I would have been without you, huh, I'm so glad it's a place I never have to be. Even if I tried, I couldn't count the ways Not enough words for me to ever say Just how good, how good you are to me Hey, how could I hide this joy inside of me? Amazing grace, oh Lord, I can it be And if it ain't in my life, I want the world to see Yeah, I can't get over what you've done for Got me singing like, amen, sing along at home, amen, amen, oh, amen. What you did has given me a hope forever, and what you do has show me you will never leave, oh, even if I tried, I couldn't count the way, not enough for me to ever say, just how good, how good you are to me. Singing like, hey, man, 
Brazil's hanging out in the house right now. So fun. Uh, so, so that song is from my newest album, uh, New Today, that we put out right in the smack dab middle of the pandemic, which is kind of like throwing confetti in the dark. <laughs> it's kind of like, like you're celebrating, but maybe nobody sees it that well and everything. But uh, it's been so fun uh, getting to go out now and go play these shows, because Amen was a song that kind of came out um, before the pandemic, but it really started playing on radio um, right in the middle of the pandemic. So it's it's just now that I'm getting to go play the song, and it kind of startles me that people are singing along because you guys know the song, which is just super, super fun. Um, the line in that song in the bridge um, is one of my favorite parts of the whole song, where it just says, I can't get over what you've done for me. The last line in the chorus in the bridge is, I can't... Uh, I can't get over what you've done for me. That's why I gotta sing. So that whole section right there in the end of that chorus was actually based on uh, this incredible story in Acts chapter 4 um, that goes through uh, talking about um, when the disciples were kind of being uh, hammered a little bit because they had been spending time with Jesus after he had died. He rose again. He's back. And then he ascends to heaven and he leaves this, this commission for these uh, uh, disciples to go out and start going out and telling everyone um, of, of these great things that, of, of, of who Jesus is and the life and the way they can have through him. And they kind of start getting uh, a little bit like kind of roughed up a bit by the Pharisees. They're like, they're threatening to throw them in jail, all these kind of things. They said, hey, you've got to stop talking about it. And the disciples said this, how can we not talk about the things that we have seen and heard? And I go back to the things in my life, and the reason why I do this for a living is because I want to tell people about the things that God has allowed me to see. Not because my point of view is so important, but because he has been so important in my point of view. Like, he has changed everything in my life. Like, I would not be able to be here in front of you right now, not, not in front of a camera for Caleb, but be standing here as a person who has any kind of joy in their life, any kind of hope in my life, any kind of love that I could offer to someone else if it was not for Jesus showing me all those things first. And so uh, this is uh, my house here in Buena, uh, where I live with my wife and, and my three kids. I got a son that's a youth camp right now. Um, my wife took our two kiddos to Fosto's Fried Chicken here in Buena, which is one of the four or five restaurants you can go here in Buena, Texas. And so um, I'm not sure what the Yelp review is. We barely have the internet here, so I don't know if you guys can look that up or not. But uh, I, um, I have a song that was not on the new album, it was on the last album, that we just tried to stuff as many of God's promises um, in. And it's been neat to hear uh, people's stories that they've walked through, whether it was the pandemic or maybe some situations like our family had back in 2017, whenever just within a few weeks of each other, Hurricane Harvey um, put all, over 40 inches of rain on, on Buna uh, in our old house where we lived before, a little mobile home here in, in town about a year ago. We moved out and came here. Um, but uh, between the hurricane and then just a few weeks later, my brother was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. Now, the house was put back together after we had some storm damage. My brother was actually um, able to go through chemo and praise God, ring a bell in March of 2018, or 20, 2018, yeah, um, that he was a cancer survivor. And he is completely uh, healed from it at that point. Um, actually went today and got scans done uh, saying that he is still cancer free. We had a little scare, he had something removed during the pandemic, but he's great now. But this was a song that we sang through all that stuff, and I saw somebody just a minute ago comment it, and so uh, maybe this song will mean something to you today as we are just reminded that God is not just a promise maker, but he is a promise keeper, and he is with us no matter what we walk through, even when it rains, even when it pours, even when it's hard to go through it, he is with us even then. Nights when the dark lasts a little bit longer And when the wind and the storm is a little bit stronger When the fear in my heart digs a little bit deeper yeah. When my faith to stand gets a little bit weaker Oh no Where could I run to? Where could I Cause even when it feels like my world is shaking, even when I've had all that I can't take, I know you 
never let me go, no. And even when the waters won't stop rising, even when I'm gone in the dead of night, I know. No matter how it is, you're with me even then. Caleb Facebook page, we can believe that, yeah? <laughs> The days up ahead look a little bit brighter, yeah. But the grip of my past holds a little bit tighter, oh no. Well, I'm reminded your grace never asked for perfection, yeah. This is my favorite part. Cause I'm restored cause of yours and I stand forgiven, oh yes. Even when it feels like my world is shaking. All that I can't take, I know You never let me go, no Even when the waters won't stop rising Even when I'm gone in the dead of night, I know No matter how it is, you will be even there And even in the middle of the struggles And even when it's hard to remember you alone are my defense when I'm standing on your promises and I know that even in the thick of the battles and even through the valley of my shadows You alone are my defense when I'm standing on your promises so where could I run to? Where could I go? Even when it feels like my world is shaking that I can't take, I know you never let me go. And I know, and I know that even when the waters won't stop rising, even when I'm caught in the dead of night, I know no matter how it is, you with me even there. You with me. I'm a firm believer <clears throat> that when God promises us that he is closer than a brother, when he promises that he is, um, he draws near the brokenhearted. Man, I have, I have been brokenhearted. I have been alone. I've been in those situations where I needed the promise maker to be the promise keeper, and he has been every single time. Um, doesn't mean that it doesn't get hard. Um, it doesn't mean that there are just certain days where it just doesn't feel uh, the same. Um, Hey, we got people right now celebrating five years being cancer-free. Praise God for that. It's amazing. Um, it's just awesome, man. I love it. Uh, but a, a song that came out literally during the middle of the pandemic, and, and it's still a song <clears throat> that I have not been able to sing a whole lot of times out and about yet uh, that I'm looking forward to seeing how, how it's ministering to people. But I've gotten stories because praise God for social media uh, and praise God for stations like K-Love who've, who've played this song, and I've heard your stories. It's been something that we have just read and have clung to as we kind of waited to be able to go back out and start um, being able to serve, serve God on stages again and stuff. Um, but it was a song that I wrote um, in the middle of my brother's cancer battle. He was actually two weeks away from going in to have exploratory surgery so they could see how well, um, uh, see how well uh, the, the chemo treatments have been going for him. And he had this super gnarly chemo that he was taking that was just super, super intense. And so they didn't think that it would work. They'd given him two years to live. Um, and so when they were uh, looking inside uh, to go check him out, if they're just going to see like what could they could then remove and what the, how the progress was going and then maybe give him a new timeline on how much longer he had left. So we kind of, uh, I walked into a writer's room two, two weeks before that um, and was just telling the guys, I said, if I'm being honest, because the one thing that's very important to me is I want to write songs that line up with scripture. That's my number one goal. Everything that I write is going to line up with scripture one way or another. Like I, because I don't want to offer anything to you that is not something that's good. And I like I don't anything that's outside of God's word is not good. You may not like the melodies that I sing or maybe the way that we structure a song, but you cannot argue with the truth that's behind um, the things that we try to write about because I want to make sure that it honors Jesus, number one. Um, but the second thing is, is I want to make sure that I'm being honest from the point of view that God's giving me in that moment. So in that moment, I was scared. 
and I was hurting and I was questioning God and I was mad at myself for questioning God because I'm going, I don't want to lose my brother. I don't want to, I don't, I, I, my house is in, in being torn apart right now, trying to put it back together. Like, I don't know what we're doing and, and how this whole thing is supposed to go. And I just walked in this writer's room and I told these guys I was with that day, I said, I'm, can I just be honest with you today? We're either going to write a song that could play in celebration of victory over cancer or could play at a funeral. I could play this song knowing that God is so good or hoping that I could see it again. And I was just going back and forth in my mind of like how we're doing this. And, and they point out the scripture, Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 and 23 basically just says, His mercies are made new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And I realized I didn't have to make it way down the road to have mercy from God. That in that moment, in that moment, God's mercy would have been already renewed for me as the sun rose that day. And then it would be there again tomorrow and the next day. And just like that promise keeper that he is, it just keeps showing up. And so I didn't have a piano with me. And so I'm going to use a little speaker and a phone because a piano player lives inside of it. And so we'll do a little karaoke for this one here. But I still think the message of this song will get across to you, man. This song's called New Today. <clears throat> I've been hard on myself lately. Every morning I feel the weight mm. When it's hard to just get out of bed Tell my heart Cause sometimes I forget That your mercies are new today <laughs> Your mercies are new I could rest on your shoulders. There is grace to start over. Your mercies are new today. Oh, your mercies are new today. Help me rise like the morning sun. Help me see that your work's not done. Oh, Lord. And I'm less than what I want to be. Lord, I need you to keep reminding me your mercies are new today. Your mercies are new today. Oh, that I could rest on your shoulders. There is grace to start over. Your mercies are new today, oh. I kept thinking you were angry, but you were fighting just to hold me and pick me up every time I fail. If your love is here to lift me and your blood says you'll forgive me, show me how I can forgive myself. Your mercies are new today. Your mercies are new again and again. Your mercies are new today. Your mercies are new today. Oh, yes, that I could rest on your shoulders and there is grace to start over. Your mercies are new, oh, new today. I could rest on your shoulders. There is grace to start over. Your mercies are new today, oh. Your mercies are new today, oh. May I pray? I pray today that you, you know that to be true, but if not, maybe I remind you that there is nothing good that you can do today. There's nothing. There's nothing good enough for you to be able to earn some sort of a special treatment from God today. But in the end, here's the thing. There's nothing you can do to make God love you any more, and there's nothing you can do to make God love you any less. 
I'm not saying that you can live your life however you want to and God's fine with that. He's not. He wants something better for your life. But man, that mercy and that love and that grace and that hope and that freedom that only Jesus can give to us is something that will change your life forever and will carry you for the rest of your life. I pray that no matter where you're watching from today, that you are reminded of that. Um, I got a new song right now. Now, I'm going to just be very, very uh, honest with you here, okay? I, I've only played this song a few, a few times, okay? Um, I, I just, I, can I, okay, we're friends now. You're in my home. Um, I had to learn how to play this song a minute ago <laughs> because I don't have a, a piano player here with me either, and I wanted to add a little guitar to it, and so it's a piano song. So it's not that, I, I mean, listen, I wrote the song. I actually wrote it with a buddy of mine named Matthew West. You may have heard him, up-and-coming artist. Uh, no, Matthew and I, and a guy named A.J. Pruse, wrote this song um, about a year and a half ago, and I have loved it ever since. And I've been singing it around my house. I know the song back and forth. I mean, like I said, it's one of those songs that I had such a joy writing with those guys. Um, and it is going to be my newest single that goes to radio. So you may be hearing it on the radio sometime soon, which would be awesome. Um, we just released a music video for it last week. Um, and it's a song that, for me, um, has been, gosh... It's been one of those songs that I feel like I'm just going to be carrying in my back pocket for a long, long time um, because it is a song that just reminds me. Because if you've been like me, this whole quarantine, this whole pandemic, I know we're kind of coming out of it, depending on where you are in the United States, <laughs> I'm in Texas. <laughs> Things have kind of been opened up for a little while around here and stuff like that. But because my brother having a cancer battle in the past, we've been like extra careful too. So I know what it feels like to be in that holding pattern of not knowing like, when we should be able to run, we can go back to normal, when can, you can go and do things, because we're trying to be careful for the people around us and for my family and just trying to be um, uh, super careful about all that. But I am ready to go. Like, I'm ready, I'm ready to run. I, I, I have spent the last year and a half asking God, man, Lord, if you give me another chance, what do I want to, how, how do I want to do this? Like, what kind of heart do I want to bring out walking into this? And God's been forming that inside of me. And so I'm so excited to go out and sing songs like this that just point people back towards hope. Um, we released this music video last week and I, I partnered with a ministry called Ground 40 that has some dear friends. Wes, I know you're on here right now in this chat. Um, but man, these guys are changing the lives of men um, one life at a time with men who've struggled with addiction or homelessness or incarceration, different things like that. How they can, through Jesus, um, learn how to walk free. And so this song was written aside from this ministry, but man, when it was time for us to make a music video, I wanted to partner with this ministry because I felt so um, uh, passionate about the work they were doing and the stories that they were telling of freedom coming out of there. So you should go check that out later. But now I'm going to attempt to sing it for you. And so, like I said, if I, if I mess up, um, please give me the mercy that God gave to me this morning. If you'll give me a little grace and mercy back, that would be amazing. Uh, but this is a fun little number called Walking Free. Turn my piano player up just a little bit here, okay? <laughs> now listen. The verdict was guilty. Case closed. The end. No chance for me to ever leave this prison of my sin. Now I know it might sound crazy, but one day a key unlocked that cell. I heard a small voice say, your debt's been paid by somebody else. And now I'm walking, walking, walking free. No more darkness, guilt and lost its grip on me. When mercy called my name, those chains fell at my Surely we got some people on K-Love who believe that right now. <laughs> no, ain't nothing perfect. I still stumble every single day. I still get knocked down, but the difference now is that's not where I stay. Cause I got a savior who knows everywhere I've been. And he's telling me that I never have to go back there again. So now I'm walking a wall. Listen to the one walking wounded, 
to the one with regret Look up and see your victory is just up ahead Cause there is a savior who knows every way you've been And he's telling you that you'll never have to go back there again So if you know that you'll never have to go back there again Then sing I'm walking truth of that song even more, man. Listen, I woke up this morning. I, I got home from a, a couple shows this weekend. <coughs> I went and mowed my grass and my allergies just attacked me. They just came after me. I tried walking free. They got in front of me. They chased me, ran right up my face. So I am struggling, but I was not about to cancel this. I will just drop keys on things and uh, sing bad notes because I love sharing the gospel. I love being able to tell you that there is this hope and there is this freedom that is only found inside of a relationship with Jesus Christ. And so if you are walking through addiction, if you are walking through pain, if you are walking through heartache, if you are walking through the good times, the bad times, and anything in between, if you are not walking with Jesus, then you do not know love, you do not know freedom, and it is just a prayer away. If you will reach out, the Bible says, the one who did not know sin became sin so that you and I can have the righteousness of God. But Micah, you don't know what kind of sins I've done. See, here's the thing he does, because in Romans 5, 8, it says this, that God demonstrates his great love for us in the way that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So right now we serve this God who has the power to not only make the sun rise, but to make mercy come with it. To be a God who offers us promises that he can hold to because his mighty hands can do it. That we serve a God who says that you do not have to stay in the same place that you're in right now. Come on, y'all. It is time for us to be the people that God has called us to be and to live. Somebody told me one time that um, uh, uh, different people live differently. And if God has made a difference, then you should make a difference. You know, and it is something that we have prayed over and over again in the life of my family. And a song that I wrote um, before hurricanes, before cancer, before viral videos about uh, millennials, <laughs> before uh, before any of you probably had ever heard of me before. Um, a song that I just wrote sitting. And just asking God that he would remind my heart that Psalm 139 is not a punishment for my life. That Psalm 139, um, that Psalm 139 uh, that says that we are um, fearfully and, and wonderfully made, that we are you know, uniquely made, I thought that was a punishment. Because I just wanted to be like everybody else. My whole life growing up, when I was a kid, I just looked at everybody else and I would compare myself to the things that they had. And I still struggle with that today. I just want to have the things that other people may have or be able to have the talents that like, you know, Phil Wickham, who is just an incredible worship writer. And I look at his songs and go, man, God, I wish I could write a song like Living Hope. Or I look at Big Daddy Weave and I'm going like, man, I wish I could write a song like Redeemed and those kind of things. But here's the deal. At the end of the day, God has given breath to their lungs to write those songs. And God has given breath to my lungs to write the songs that he's calling me to. And for you and your life, the stories that we tell are important. And so a song that for me, um, that I wrote just out of an earnest prayer of me asking God, would you just help me, help me to understand that either, either you can change my circumstances or you can change the things around me, um, that you can change me so that I can handle the things that you're walking me through around me. Um, God gave me this song, and it's been something that's been special to see how it's meant something to other people. Uh, and maybe it'll mean something to you right now.
The song is called Different. And I don't want to hear anymore. Teach me to listen. And I don't want to see anymore. Give me a vision that you could move this heart to be set apart. I don't need to recognize the man in the mirror. And I don't want to trade your plans for something familiar. And I can't waste a day. And I can't stay the same. I want to be different, I want to be changed Till all of me is gone and all that remains Is a fire so bright The whole world can see that there's something different So come and be different in me I don't want to spend my life stuck in a pattern, no. And I don't want to gain this world but lose what matters. And so I'm giving up everything because I want to be different. I want to be changed till all of me is gone. And all that remains is a fire so bright. The whole world can see that there's something different. So come and be different. Oh, I know that I am far from perfect. But through you, the cross still says I'm worth it, yeah. So take this beating in my heart and come and finish what you've started. When they see me, let them see you Cause I just want to be different Yeah Ooh, I want to be different I want to be changed Till all of me is gone And all that remains Whoa, is a fire so bright The whole world kisses just change everything about it because if you don't believe it then man it's opportunity for you right now to ask God to prove that to you that he can change things and here's the deal what we've learned over and over again is that there are times I know that my Bible says that, that there was a story of Jesus walking like all the, there's this horrible storm coming in and Jesus is sitting inside the boat and all the guys were getting scared and they woke him up and he comes to the front and he goes on the boat and he says peace be still and everything stops I know that God can still do that I know that there were times that God would be walking, I mean, Jesus would be walking into the, the, through the streets of Jerusalem, through the streets of the, Old, of the New Testament and the Gospels. Um, and as he's walking by, there are people who are lepers, who have skin diseases, and there are people who are um, blind, they can't see, or there's people who are reaching out. There are people who are dead inside of tombs. And if Jesus tells them that they're healed and to come out Lazarus, come out of that tomb and walk, not, it's not just a Cain song, it's also in the Bible too. But those opportunities, I know that God can still do that today. I've seen miracles happen around me. But I also know that there are those times where even if we ask God, can you change the circumstances, maybe sometimes he wants us to walk through those things so we can change things inside of our lives so that maybe we would be able to grow in our faith in him. Because I'm going to tell you right now, 2017 and walking through cancer and hurricanes and those kind of things didn't make 2020 a breeze. But I had this hope walking into 2020 and some of the things that we were nervous about or the things that maybe have been like kind of like everything shutting down, all that kind of stuff. There was this hope that God had already ingrained in our hearts. So if you're walking through something right now, I want you to know you're not forgotten that maybe God has purpose in the things that you're walking through, that there is purpose in your pain right now, but there's also a Savior who knows everywhere you're going, 
everywhere you've been and everywhere you will go. And he wants to give you that freedom, that hope, that grace, that mercy, that love. And he wants to fulfill those promises to you today. Um, hey, I got one more song left. Um, we're kind of at the 35-minute mark. But I thought what would be fun is, hey, I have, I've, because I have adult ADD and because I would, <laughs> if I was trying to read comments and play the guitar at the same time, we, this thing would have lasted for an hour and a half and I would have never made it through any of the songs. <laughs> so here's what we'll do. How about this? If you guys have any questions, uh, any kind of like, we'll do like a little speed round here. I'll try to answer as many. If you got any kind of questions, if you got any kind of comments, if you want to, uh, you know, uh, I, we can't really request a song because I'm not that good of a guitar player. But if you want to throw anything out to me, uh, I'd love to be able to say hey here. Um, yeah, let's see. Oh, we got a Kane mention. Yeah, Paul Matthews. Kane, incredible. I love those guys. Uh, we've gotten to run into them a couple different times. We did a Matthew West little live show, a little uh, online show together. And so uh, I think they're just the, the best out there. I'm so glad they're doing it. Um, hey, we got Lisa, Lynn. I see people kind of popping up on here. I'll give it, I know there's a little bit of a delay, so I'm going to give it just another little second here for a second. Um, Hey, fun fact, just so you know, all your favorite musicians, when they're doing concerts, they look like they're professional. They're wearing shorts, so just heads up. That's been my favorite thing about doing these kinds of uh, uh, concerts and stuff, these online things, is that I don't have to, I get just be comfy. It's great. Um, who is your dream to, to tour with? Uh, golly, that's a great question. Um, you know, I wrote that song with Matthew West, and I would love to sing it with him, so that would be a fun tour to be able to go on. So everyone bug Matthew about me going out and doing some tours with him. Um, who's your favorite artist band right now? Uh, band, I tell you this, I did go do Winter Jam with uh, We the Kingdom, and I was just blown away. Like, they're just bad in the bone, but they're also the nicest people in the whole wide world. So that was a, that's a new, like, fun thing that I'm kind of jumping into right now. Um, let's see. Why isn't this longer? <laughs> For me, I don't have much of a voice left, and you've heard all the songs that I had on the radio. I could play songs that you don't know on the radio, but I don't know how much Caleb would like that, but... Hey, honestly, let's keep it short and sweet. I'd rather people uh, want more than to, to be sick of it and, and, and log off. So, uh, let's see. Uh, man, you're so real. I, listen, that's all I can be. Um, my birthday's next month. Happy early birthday to Brittany. Let's see. Uh, is it high school and kids are boring? Uh, when are you coming to Indy? Oh, so real quick, this is fun. So, if you want to go check this out, you can either go to my page, uh, my, my website, micahtyler.com. Um, or you can go to uh, mercyme.com or org or whatever the thing is. Um, I'm going out with Mercy Me this fall, and so I'm going to go do, uh, we're doing like 30 shows. So we're, we're hitting a lot of states. We can't go everywhere. Uh, we have to go where the bus gas can get us to, in which arenas are still open. We can do shows, but we're doing like 30 of these shows. So I would love to see you. I'm bringing a full band. I will not be by myself for this thing. I got a full band coming with me. It's going to be a blast. We're going to have some fun surprises. Uh, you're going to want to come and uh, hang out on that thing, okay? Uh, let's see. Let me see. A couple more here before I play one more. Um, let's see. Um, okay. You know what? Everybody else is just being very nice on here right now, and so I'm so glad you guys are here. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Uh, great. This has been fun. Thanks for hanging out. We've got like 600 people putting eyeballs here. It always weirds me out when I see 611, because um, then I just think like, like, like there's a pirate in there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if that's, that's okay. Uh, it's 611 sets of eyes is what I'm assuming right now. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna do one more. Um, this was actually the song that maybe, maybe you guys were introduced to my music through this song. Uh, this was probably, this is the first song that Caleb played of mine for sure. Um, again, big shout out to Caleb. I just, I love getting to partner with them. Uh, not just because they let me come on here on their Facebook page and do concerts, but because they are spreading the gospel all over the world. And so when you partner with Caleb, when you donate towards them, um, they get to do stuff like this. And they get to send songs literally around the globe. And it's the gospel, man. And, and you may never ever get to um, go for, uh, to different states. You may never be able to get out of your city very often. Um, but Caleb is sending out a signal all over the world right now. Uh, and so you get to kind of be a, a missionary by uh, sitting behind them, so it's a great place to give to. But if not, just support the concerts that Caleb puts on. Uh, hang out. I know there's some more coming up for the rest of the summer, and so make sure to hang out with them. A little sip here. All right. Some of you guessed it. I see Cindy guessed it already. Let's uh, let's close this thing. I have a little party here, man, because every single time, as I've looked over my life, and I've been able to look back at every circumstance I've ever walked through, I've noticed one thing. And it is God's faithfulness every single time. 
So every single time I look back at all the moments that I've been through, I've seen that every single one of them, I felt loved by God when I look back, knowing that He is so good and so faithful. And it's just my hope that I can be faithful back to Him by recognizing the faithfulness He has shown to me. Listen. See, I've been a sinner. I've been a saint. A little bit of both in a single day. I've been lost, but somehow I've been found. Hey. There's been some pain, been some regrets, been some moments I'll never forget. But when I look back from where I'm standing now, there's never been a moment I was not held inside your arms. And there's never been a day when you were not who you said you are. Yours forever, it don't matter what I'm concert thanks so much for coming and hanging out continue to support kayla continue to support these concerts it's so fun to be able to do and uh hopefully we will not be looking at each other through a screen i'll be able to see some of you in person i got some tour dates on my website if you want to go check it out we got some fun shows and uh and yeah in the meantime uh, i love you guys thanks for coming and hanging out hey, hey i just feel led to pray i know we have people who have been listening to some some prayer uh needs on here and, and i've been talking to you about a lot of things that people could be going through. I've shared some of my story with you, and I've learned that sharing hard things um, is an important part about being a believer, being able to walk in and say that things are not always perfect. And I'm not always perfect, but man, God has been so loving, and he's been perfectly loving through the whole thing of what we walk through as a family, the good times, the bad times, and everything in between. And so, uh, man, I just want to pray for any heart out there that's, that, that is feeling troubled, that is feeling um, scared, worried, that needs to walk towards freedom, that needs to trust in the promise keeper and the promise uh, uh, maker and the, and the one that we can trust today, and that is uh, Jesus Christ. So let me pray for us right now. Jesus, thank you so much um, for uh, being so kind to us. The Bible says that your kindness is what brings us to repentance. So God, I pray that you would just show kindness to my friends who are hanging out here on the Facebook page. Um, God, that you would remind us that you are closer than a brother, that you draw near the brokenhearted, that there is someone who's having a bad day today. Today, your mercies were made new this morning. 
They don't have to do anything to get there. They don't have this long trek to get back in your good graces that right now if we would turn towards you, if we would repent from the things that we've done, if we ask for you um, to, to move in our lives, God, you, 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 you have called us um, to call back to you. You've put breath inside of our lungs so that we can give it back to you in worship, in repentance, and in love. So God, I pray, God, that you would just let us use the breath inside of our lungs well today. Um, we're grateful for the opportunity to get to hang out tonight and have a little concert. And until we get to see each other in person again, God, I just pray for my friends and I ask that you would just bless them richly. We love you and it's your name we ask all these things. Amen. Hey, if you want to hit up, I know Caleb's got people here watching. If you need prayer needs, those kind of things, I know they would love to be able to pray for you. They've got a prayer team that they can reach out and help you out with some things. But uh, in the meantime, I love you guys so much. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me here in my house. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.